So today we're going to go to Medellin's Real Estate Fair and this is where they have all of the new construction projects. So what is pre-construction? Pre-construction is where they allow you to pay per month as they're actually building the, the building and project. So it's almost like you're paying a mortgage. Most of them you're going to be paying 40 to 60 percent in the two years that they're building that project. Some take what like a year and a half, some take three years to build. It just depends on the project. And that last 40 to 50 percent you pay at the end in one lump sum or you can apply for a mortgage and finance it that way. The reason that these are so lucrative in Colombia, especially if you're a foreigner, uh, is that it, it kind of acts like a mortgage versus if you come here and try to buy something uh, that's already built, it's almost impossible for a foreigner to get a loan. We found that out the hard way. Uh, you're gonna need about three years of credit history in this country. That means you're gonna have to have a credit card, savings account, maybe even a company uh, here for at least three years with track record and you know movements in order for them to give you a loan and then if, even if you qualify for a loan the interest rates are going to be 14 to 16 percent so even at that point it doesn't make much sense that's why i like the pre-construction projects and why i recommend them to foreigners if they want to start investing in columbia it's kind of an easy and quick entry to invest in columbia and also normally these do appreciate quite a bit as they're building them and like once they complete them normally they appreciate i would say anywhere from 40 to 50 percent from the price that you like sign the contract for with the agency obviously that's not guaranteed at all and that's going to kind of vary depending on what happens in the market but from what i've seen in the past and from talking to people we've done this we have a project in Envigado, Terra Verde. They're supposed to be done hopefully in a year. You know, we do know people that this is pretty much all they do. They don't even work. They just invest in these pre-construction projects and they actually flip them before they're done for, you know, 40 to 50% profit. And also for taxes, if you do sell this before it's completed, there's some tax advantages to where you don't have to pay taxes. I'm going to have Louisa explain this actually. She's the lawyer expert. When you buy under construction property, the property is not going to be under your name. You're actually going to be paying monthly to an insurance company that takes the money and gives the money to the construction company so they are able to start building up uh, the building. So the property is not going to be under your name fully af until after the property is built and after you um, pay the remaining of like the amount that you're owing because this property is not under your name then there are some tax benefits because the property has, it's only going to be under the construction company so if you sell your like share you would say that mm -hmm. of the property to someone else uh, then that person is going to have the property under your name but still you're going to be making the profit of the amount that like the, the property has value while they are building it of course you're going to want to talk to your accountant and get that third and final opinion from someone that does this for a living. This for me made a lot of sense, especially because we did this under our company and then I, I can deduct what we're paying there from the company. That's kind of a little intro about these projects. We're gonna show you some of the ones that we find interesting in this fair, show you kind of what the fair looks like. They have probably hundreds of projects here at this fair. The Medellin real estate market has been super hot over the last two, three years, and I don't think that's gonna slow down. Another beautiful day in Medellin. And this is the danger of driving in Medellin. Listo? Okay, so we made it. And of course, typical with every Columbia event, they have blasting Columbia music over here. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's cool, like cultural, I guess. Yeah. The music. It's super random that like in every single country that we travel to, they don't have blasting music everywhere. And for me, that's yeah, weird because in every Colombian weekend, event, birthday, everything, you always have to have the music blast. If you like loud. music and noise, you'll love Colombia. <laughs> huh. So up here they have things from each region of Antioquia. So like San Jeromino, Santa Fe. There are so many towns we got Yeah, I know. Okay, so back there we're trying to find the, the building to go into and they have a fence back there that we need to like go through that they can open. 
Uh, but no, they told us that we have to walk all the way around and then come back through over here. I'll show you over here. Because why? Because we're in Colombia. Uh, this is just such typical. Uh, we've been walking for like 30 minutes because here nothing is. Like, they don't have signs. There's no signs. We thought this was part of the, the fair, but it's something totally different. Come here, they have fairs for everything. This is where we have to come through. And this is where they wouldn't let us through. But they just let some some guy up here walk through. Maybe because you're the green one. So after a half hour walking, we finally made it. 6,000 for entrance. But I don't know, I feel like for something that you're gonna like possibly spend money on, uh, like investing, I feel like you should have like free entrance, don't you? Yeah, I don't know why they charge. Yeah. I mean, these space should be paid by the by the vendors, yeah. yeah. But of course, yeah, they make you pay to come here. It's a dollar fifty, but still yeah. Colombia. So here they have all the projects listed, like by sector, Bejo. They have Poblado here. Then yeah, all the projects. No, they still have Terravert too. So the one that we're investing in, Terravert. And Megato. Arrotito, that's where we used to live. So some of these are like outside the valley, Arrotito, La Ceja, mm -hmm. Rio Negro. These are also growing super quick. Mm -hmm. Actually, so as you can see, most of the new projects are outside the valley. Yeah. These are all in the valley, a lot in Bejo. But as you can see, uh, they're running out of room to, to build. Basically in Poblado, there's, I would say 30 mm -hmm. in Poblado. In Vigado, a little bit more. Bejo a little more because that's um, further down. But then they have all these that are like outside the the valley. Because there's, no the there's no more there's no more room. Ball, I, I would like to see that actually. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe. it's because basically there's no more room to build in a lot of these places inside of Medellin. And that's why I think it's like almost impossible that the real estate market actually crashes here because it's like a fixed supply and they really can't even build anymore yeah. so so these are the ones that you can like where you can do these are more hotels with click ah, okay yeah so these are the ones that probably we're going to be more interested in because these are more of hotel airbnb projects proyectos my accent is so <laughs> gringo proyectos diferentes de vivienda and look this one so are... that's projects different than living and these are projects in for short-term short rental Probably about a year or two ago, this would have been not even existed. Last time we came, it was Sunday, or I'm pretty Saturday, sure it was Sunday. Like that, yeah. That's why we should do things on, on during the weekday. Yeah, I know. So this is the entrance over here. This most of this is residential property. Uh, now we're gonna go over here to see the short-term rental property. So here's 88. 82, 83. So they give you the area and you can like build, like you can throw like, yeah, like down mo modif modify, modify yeah. how you want it. First two that we saw, it was like a model of you pay like a coupon, or like you pay into the share of the building and then every month they give you so much so it doesn't those really don't make sense because normally like most of them return like what's the normal i think it's like 15 percent that most of them return which at that point it's like why would you invest in a foreign country with those kinds of returns also you can't customize them to how you want so uh for me i don't really understand those one third one that we saw that was uh, where you actually own the apartment and you can do it how you want price was what 700 million peso so right now that's almost 200k, like 180k. Prices have definitely gone up in the last two years. Actually, it's a hotel with gymnasium, with the academy, with the gymnasium action, action style. Four pisos of gymnasium and eight pisos with 53 habitaciones. También son derechos de escrituramos cada habitación individual. Yes. Okay, so the last one was in like Belen area, so you know, not Poblado, not. The relics 256, so that's like 
60k more or less but it's pretty small like 20, it's like a room, 20 like square a meters hotel room 25 square meters but again like we were saying the first two that we saw were it was like a community pool basically they take out how much it costs to operate and then they spit out um same amount per to everyone so you have zero control over how you operate it how you don't you run you it, furnish it how you furnish it they don't care about the reviews well i mean they care a little bit because they have to but you know they're not putting in that extra effort but for me i don't understand those models because like i said i i know most of them quote like 15 max 20 percent annual returns and at that point like why would you invest in a risky country like colombia okay so we're just finishing up here we're gonna head out we're only there for like an hour and a half and pretty tiring uh but we actually saw the one that we're investing in terravert it's crazy the prices have gone up a lot in the last year and a half two years double. yeah double because they have one or two left and it's like a 49 square meter little apartment like no balcony it's just like a loft and it's 540 million peso mm -hmm. uh, which is what we paid for the ours which has the 49 square meter terrace and also 49 square meter on the inside yeah it's crazy how much prices have gone up also we saw one our uh, residential property mm -hmm. 97 square meters it's not going to be done until 2027 2027 and they're selling it for 900 million peso which is about 225k and the quotes are almost two thousand dollars yeah more than two thousand dollars so medellin definitely getting really expensive i feel like it's almost getting close to like miami i mean prices in some areas like poblado and Bergado. also i was checking out some projects like here in colombia if you make if you can prove that you make uh, that your salary is between one uh, minimum wage to four minimum wages and then they go like in some projects that are financed by the government you can get a like a help from the government that goes around like ten thousand uh, dollars uh, to buy property which is really good uh, i mean this is only going to apply for colombians but if you're interested in doing something like that if you have a colombian girlfriend uh this could be a really great option yeah because yeah it's subsidized i don't like agree with how that works but might as well take advantage of it i guess if they're offering that what you can do um, is like if you have a company prove you just pay yourself like a minimum wage and then you can get like this amazing help from the government to buy property and then you can resell it make double as you can see yeah. um, in a short, short period of time if you have any questions or are interested in any of those projects you can reach out to me and i can give you like the contact or also how we can help you get a company here if you want to do this through like a company and set up a bank account here uh just reach out and yeah you can book a free call with us that does it for this video we're gonna head to a rooftop bar but i don't know i think it might rain it got cloudy out of nowhere <laughs> it's been like sunny no and dry for like a month but the day we to go yeah yeah we're gonna end it here thanks for watching uh this video we guys enjoyed and see you guys in the next video.